In today's video, I wanted to show you the latest version of one of our favorite plugins, HDRI Studio Rig. Let's go. Hey everybody, it's Nick here from Grayscale Gorilla, bringing you the tools, training, and tutorials to help make you a better motion designer. Now today I'm excited to show you the latest version of one of our best-selling plugins. It's called HDRI Studio Rig. And if you use physical render or standard render in Cinema 4D, you'll definitely wanna check out today's video to see how you could speed up your workflow. And even if you already have HDRI Studio Rig, I'm gonna be showing you the latest version. We just dropped a free update to existing customers. And I also wanted to show you some of the new things and how they work in newer versions of Cinema 4D like R19 and beyond. All right, with that, let's head on into Cinema 4D and let's start using HDRI Studio Rig. All right, here we are in Cinema 4D. And first of all, if you wanna follow along with this specific model, you could download it. I'm gonna put a link down below in the description. You can head on over to the happytoolbox.com and download this model and follow along with us. And second, all the textures are from Top Coat. Now, if you don't own Top Coat, you can learn about that in a different video, but it's an easy way to add reflections and textures in physical render. Okay, with that said, let's head on in and talk about HDRI Studio Rig. So if you haven't used HDRI Studio Rig, it's a plugin that we developed here at Grayscale Gorilla to help you speed up your physical and standard render workflow. And it solves four major problems and helps you go from bringing a model into Cinema 4D all the way through the render process to the final render in less time. So let me show you what it does. So if you hit render right now, we have our model all textured, ready to go. And if we hit render, we're missing quite a lot of our scene. We don't have any lights, we don't have reflections, we don't have any background, and then we also don't have the right render settings for this scene. And HDRI Studio Rig allows you to solve those four major problems very quickly. So to add HDRI Studio Rig to your scene, just come up to plugins. Once you have it installed, it will be right here and you just click on it. HDRI Studio Rig instantly adds itself to your scene and right away you can see we have realistic reflections on our models. And we also added this new feature. This is a new feature in the latest version that allows you to rotate your HDRI and see the results in the viewport without having to hit render. Uh, now this uh, is possible because of the new uh, viewport updates in Cinema 4D. And we went ahead and updated HDRI Studio Rig to take advantage of that. And it also works with any of the HDRIs. So let me show you the HDRI browser that's also included with the plugin. And this this allows you to come in here and choose from any of our packs to uh, click and tr basically test out your lighting and reflections in your viewport before you even hit render. So in this case, we're using this pack European Holiday. Uh, HDRI Studio Rig, by the way, ships with this pack, Studio Basics. And we sell these individual packs separately if you'd like. Or you could also get bundles where you can get them all together. So in the European Holiday pack, which is one I use a lot, uh, I have one of my favorites called Church Entrance. I'm gonna go ahead and click that and close the browser. And right away, the church entrance reflections are now on my model. I could rotate them around. Let's get some nice side lighting here. And let's hit render and see what we have. Okay, so we already have much more than we had before just with that one click of HDRI Studio Rig. We have a backdrop. We have a seamless floor backdrop that we could change the gradient and the colors of. We of course have our HDRI that we've already chosen, which gives us nice looking uh, lighting, nice looking reflections on our model. And again, allows us to quickly change if we want a totally different look, we can click on a different HDRI, hit render and get a completely different look in our scene. Okay, so let's talk about the background. Um, the background settings, if we go into our seamless floor controls, you can control the gradient of your background. In this case, it's a little too bright. It's it's white for, uh, for uh, default, but you could always change it. In this case, I'm gonna make something a little bit darker. I think it goes well with this kind of model, this kind of totem kooky looking guy. I'm just gonna make a simple gradient. It's gonna go from a little bit bright in the middle to darker on the floor. All right, that's already looking better. We have some nice reflections going on, um, but we don't have any shadows on the floor and we don't have any reflections on the floor. So let me show you that setting real fast. In your seamless floor controls, you can go down here to floor uh, reflection. You can add reflections. So let's see what that looks like. We have reflection now. And then we could also go to uh, reflection blur and start to blur that a little bit as well. I'm not sure if he's all the way on the floor He's pretty close. Okay, good. So, so let's add a little bit of blur to the floor there. 
That looks much better. So all of these settings are built in HDRI Studio Rig. And now let's talk about the uh, render settings. So the insert render settings button, what does this do? Well, we found ourselves uh, when using physical render specifically, uh, always doing you know, the same render presets. Uh, at least here at Grayscale Grill, we found ourselves using, you know, one or two settings over and over again. And it was always a lot of hassle to go into our render settings, change all of the options, ch turn on physical, turn on global illumination when needed. So we figured we would add our uh, insert render settings button here to instantly add all that for you. So all you have to do is uh, in HDRI Studio Rig, hit insert render settings, and it will populate your render settings with all of these presets. Now these were chosen, uh, again, because we use them all the time in production. There's global illumination settings to give you flicker-free animation ready uh, render settings. They also include ambient occlusion settings. Uh, if you use reflectance a lot and you don't need global illumination, you could use those as well. So let's just start with, um, uh, uh, let's let's just start with the first one, GI Progressive. Let's hit render and see the result. Now, right away, you're gonna see Progressive starts with a really grainy version and refines itself over time. You'll see my screen look nicer and nicer. And in fact, uh, we could zoom into this other camera and uh, hit render and see some kind of closer up results. Now, in this case, since we're so zoomed in, we can actually turn off the floor. So we can go to our seamless floor controls and just say, okay, we don't need the floor. We'll leave the background on. And this is gonna let our um, uh, reflections kind of bounce around more, give us some nice uh, stuff to play off of. And, and again, we're allowed to make creative decisions very quickly, hit render and see the results. So um, while we're here, let's pretend the uh, the client came back and we're like, you know, uh, I, I see what you're going for. It's kind of a sunset mood here, but uh, can we try some different lighting and can we try a different background? Well, sure, very quickly with HDRI Studio Rig, you can go open up your HDRI browser uh, and click on any of these that you have from us uh, and rotate them around and get a completely different look Let's try this one, I like that side lighting there. And then uh, we can go to our seamless floor controls and uh, create maybe something a little bit brighter for the background. So let's go ahead and hit render there and a completely different look, right? So we're still using um, the uh, GI progressive render setting. And if you want something a little bit nicer, maybe you're working closer toward the end of your project, you could start to turn these up to something like GI medium or GI high, and you'll start to see um, less grain and a much more realistic reflection in your scene. And again, this is all controlled with HDRI Studio Rig, and it really allows you a fast workflow. Change anything at any moment. All right, let me show you another quick scene using HDRI Studio Rig. In this case, we have this Jeep. We have this car all textured, ready to go. Similar problem to the last scene. And so we have uh, our model ready to go. Let's hit render. What are we missing? Well, everything, right? Model's not enough. So uh, let's add HDRI Studio Rig in the scene to start to see how quick we could set up this uh, render. So I'm gonna look for some nice reflective floor, uh, some nice lighting here. So let's go in and first of all, pick our HDRI. In this case, I want to use um, Pro Studios Metal. Now this is a really fun pack um, that we released last year, I think, and it has some amazing looks, especially if you do studio work. Uh, I'm gonna pick this one just for now and we might change it a little bit over time, but that's what's great. We could change it really quickly anytime. Uh, let's rotate it around and try to get something more kind of cutting across the, the paint here. And uh, let's go ahead and hit render and see what we get. All right, well, we have some nice reflections here, uh, although the backdrop is a little bit bright for me. Uh, let's go to our seamless floor controls. And again, uh, maybe I'm just in the mood for something dark, uh, darker these days for a background, but let's start with kind of a glow. In fact, let's make it a little bit blue instead of just gray. This will help give us a little bit of color back there, just kind of liven it up. So now it should have a little bit of blue that's looking better. We have some nice looking reflections. I like the way that this is cutting across. Um, we might need to turn it a little bit more, but let's get some shadows and reflection going on the floor and then we'll do our final tweaks. So if we come into our seamless floor controls, we could add some reflection. Let's add a lot. Let's make it blurry and add a little Fresnel as well. And this is just gonna make it more realistic. 
And let's do a quick render and you can see, you know, it takes a second to see that reflection and see the render. And this is where the render settings uh, come in handy, even if you're just testing reflections and testing lighting. If we open up and click on our instant render settings and just go to GI Progressive, you can see really quickly we'll get results. I'm gonna hit render and boom, you get a grainy version and then a refined version over time. Now, what do I like about this? What don't I like? Now, uh, I think we need the, um, Reflection to be a little bit brighter. It's a little kind of dull. I want to rotate it a little bit more I'm gonna to try to catch more of this wheel. It's a little dark up here I like how mysterious it is, but I'm gonna kind of push this reflection a little bit more Just Keep some of that angle in there, but try to catch a little bit more here I'm also gonna make it brighter. You could uh, use the slider. You could just type it in directly uh, we have tons of other settings that we go through in our training. Uh, if you end up getting HDI Studio Rig or if you just want to revisit it, we go through all this stuff in our training. Um, but for now, let's go ahead and see what that looks like. It's brighter, very good. We're catching more of that front rim and that is looking pretty good. Now, if we're looking to do our final render, we can go into our render settings and turn it on something like GI High and just wait for it. And of course, um, all of these are set to be as fast as possible, but your final render, you can crank up and wait a little bit longer, right? Um, so let's say again, the client comes to us to like, okay, like the studio look, but can we see something where it's a little bit more um, outdoors and um, you know maybe different reflections, different backgrounds, same, same as always, right? Your clients are always asking. So how quickly can we do that? Well, we can open up our browser and instead of a studio, we can go use something like, um, let's go with our, um, let's go with commercial locations. And I'm gonna click on creative office. I use this one a lot as well. And start to rotate this around. And we have a nice window here. Maybe the window is more, let's keep the same kind of, kind of vibe, like more backlit. Okay, so there's that. And then let's go to our seamless floor controls and um, maybe instead of this darker blue, we could add something a little bit brighter and try to give it a little bit more uh, color. Uh, pink might not be the right vibe, but maybe there's like a, like a brighter blue in the background. So let's go ahead and render that. This is looking much cleaner. We may have to go one more setting up with this car paint texture, but you can see that in just a few minutes, we went from a car with no reflections, no background, no render settings, to this render that we can tweak, show a client, and quickly get them results. Thanks again for watching everybody. And if you wanna learn more about our time-saving plugins and training, we have links all down below here on YouTube or over at our website. Please check them out. Our goal is to speed up your workflow and HDRI Studio Rig is one of our favorites. So thanks again for checking this video out and we hope to see you in another video really soon. Bye everybody.